Good morning, everyone. I'm out detecting uh, Tuesday. It's May 19th, kind of a cold, windy day, but I just had a, a higher tone and I dug my first weed of the day. And it appeared that it's a, I believe it was a 46 when I had looked at it. But there you go, good start. Hey everyone, um, over by the beach a little bit now. Um, it's really windy. Geese are everywhere, so you gotta watch where you kneel down. Um, found a few more weeds that I didn't film because my battery's getting low, but I just got a 943 in this really hard soil. It's got a lot of rocks and, and that in it, and you'll be able to see. I, I flipped it over the 943, thinking I'm probably gonna have a dime, a clad dime, and you'll be able to see in the right in the very top of the plug I've got a silver dime and I believe it is a mercury let's see here uh, you can see the imprint there's the dime and it is for sure a merc and it looks like it is a 19 44 so I'm glad to have that one been a long time coming today All right, I'm gonna see if I can find another one Okay, right here where this ground is all broke up is where I just found that mercury dime I started walking away swinging real slow and There's this hole and I had a high tone and there's the next hole, and I can see in the bottom of the hole, right by that rock, another silver coin. Oops, hang on. And let's see what it is. It's a dime. And it's a Roosevelt dime. Let's take a look. 1947. So I need to check this area a little bit more before I move on. All right, two in a row after getting nothing in about three hours. So we'll see if I can find some more. Well, I moved to a different part of the park, and I'm telling you, it's it's cold and windy, overcast. Um, got a plane going overhead. You can hear it. It's supposed to be 35 tonight. But uh, I'm, today I'm running my e-track. I've got uh, I've got my CTX in the trunk, but I wanted to um, run this here because I've got that coil tech coil, and I haven't used it in this park, so I wanted to use it here. Um, I'm running. I was running the Andy Savage um, program, a modified version, and I just changed it back. To, I just went to the factory coin and I got the sensitivity and manual and I've got it jacked up to 30 but I had a, a high tone like a 1047 and I just dug it and as you'll see as I pan over to the left here I got myself a silver quarter and let me see what year it is here 1944 all right having a good day I'm gonna try to tough it out here for another hour or so anyways so I'll see if I can't find something else okay everyone I'm at the same hole where I just found the 44 Washington took my um, Garrett carrot stuck it in the hole and look at this, out comes another one. And this one is another 1944, sweet. But I did take the Garrett carrot and stuck it in the hole again. So we're gonna see what it is. I know there's something else in there. I'm gonna reach down there with my bare hand see what I got ah it's 
it's a wheat sun, I'm sure. But nice little spill, two Washingtons and a Wheatie. All right. So there's a picture of my uh, of my spill out of this hole. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna get out there and see if I can find some. Okay, I'm still at the same hole. Um, this is the best silver spill I've ever had. Um, I didn't film it, but besides the two Washingtons and the Weedy, I was taking my pinpointer and, and doing the dirt like this. Um, and I found another Weedy and I thought, well, I'm gonna check this hole. Oops, one more time. And I did. And oops, this thing's going off like crazy. If you look way down in there, Maybe I, I think I got that out of focus too much. But there's the edge of another silver coin. Look at that. So we're gonna get it out and see what it is. Wow, we got ourselves another Merc. And this one, I'm not sure. I can't really tell. It looks like it may be in the 30s. But wow, what a hole. Okay, I'm gonna check it one more time. I don't know, it's still going off, but it might need to be reset here, let's see. Well, as you can hear, it's going off, so, uh, let me see. I'm gonna have to get the bigger shovel because I don't have my other one with me. Sorry I'm jerking around so much. And I'll take the side of this hole out a little bit. See if we can't see what's in there. Still in. Oops, sorry everyone. Okay, I'm gonna try to dig a little bit deeper yet and not wreck the coin. All right, pull the dirt out a little bit. And it's still in there, whatever it is. There it is. Oops, sorry. All right, so that's another weedy. So now I've got three Wheaties, two Washingtons, and a Merc out of this hole. All right, I'm gonna check it one more time before I cover it up. Here we go. Oh my gosh, here's another one. Another green Wheatie. Holy crap. And I think, I'm gonna set this down and dig a little bit more. It might be going off again here, so let me see. Didn't mean to stop that. Um, I did check the hole, and what I found, as you can see, are two bottle caps to finish up this uh, hole. But anyways, that's what came out of it. Two Washingtons, a Merc, and four Wheaties. All right, I'm gonna look this little grove. I'm gonna work it some more. Hey, diggers! It's John. I wanted to show you uh, my finds from yesterday's hunt. Didn't have a chance um, to record it yesterday, so I'll do it now. Um, I had a good day. As you can see, I dug a bunch of junk, lots of uh, garbage. Um, this I had never seen before. This is some sort of portable air horn. I got that and then some bottle caps and other pieces of iron. Um, over here, 
I found this matchbox little car. This is called a uh, Coyote 500. Never seen one of those before. I found this beautiful barrette looking star thingy for my wife's hair. Um, I don't think she's going to wear it, so uh, I'm going to have to toss it. <laughs> this was a surface find, this great big uh, YMCA metal thingy. Naturally made in China. This other thing, um, a lot of you may not be familiar with it, it's called a bottom bouncer. Use those for trolling up here in Michigan. But I found that. And then I had, I didn't count it, but maybe a couple dollars worth of clad. And over here, I got eight wheat cents. Um, I didn't get them all cleaned up, so I'm not sure of all the dates. I do, however, know that two of them, and I believe it's and this one right there is a 26, and that one I think is a 34. So I had a couple older ones in there. But the best part of my hunt was um, the silver coins I did well on. I got five. Two 44 Washingtons. Um, two Mercs. I think one was a 44 or 42. The other was a 23 and a 47 Rosie. And I did find, uh, I think I alluded to yesterday, um, it was a spill. I found the two Washingtons and one Merc and uh, four of the wheats were all in one hole. So I had a really good hunt and I can't wait to get back out there again. Thanks for viewing.